Mary of Bethany could see the writing on the wall. Jesus was in trouble. The Sanhedrin knew about his teaching and his exorcisms and were strongly opposed to them. They would probably arrest Jesus the next time he was in Jerusalem. Mary also knew that Jesus was not going to change. He would continue to forgive sinners, cast out demons, and criticize religious authorities just like always. It was only a matter of time before the Sanhedrin put a stop to it. All of this made Mary very sad, of course. She was sad that people were so obstinate and blind. Jesus was showing the way to love, hope, and life, but the leaders of the people refused to believe him. She was sad for Jesus. He had poured out his life for people and received criticisms and threats in return. He wanted to help people, but most refused to accept it. Mary was tempted to tell Jesus to go back to Galilee, stay with his friends, and keep a low profile until things cooled down. But Mary was proud of her teacher and friend, and she knew that he needed to keep speaking and acting boldly, refusing to back down to the hard-hearted opposition. It was while she was in Jerusalem, a few weeks before the feast, that she came across the street vendor selling exotic ointments. Worthy of a king, the vendor kept announcing, a not too subtle attempt to justify the exorbitant price. Mary knew only one king, and she would stand by him no matter what. And if his reign in this life was about to come to an end, Mary was determined to show him a small sign of the honor, fidelity, and love that he deserved. She gathered together the money she had been saving for who knew what, told Martha and Lazarus of her plan, and received their blessing, and returned to the street vendor to purchase the most aromatic nard he had. Mary's anointing of Jesus is a touching little story in the middle of an otherwise sad narrative of the days leading up to Jesus' arrest and execution. After his entry into Jerusalem, Jesus faced mostly hard-heartedness, hatred, and betrayal. Mary wanted Jesus to know that there were still people who loved him and continued to place their hope in him. Her gesture was very much appreciated by Jesus and generations of Christians ever since.